Hi, I'm Heather Reingans. And I'm Katherine Kim, and we're the Harvest Hill Specialist at Story Real Estate of KW Palouse, and we're here to talk to you about HOAs in CCNR. <music> CCNR stands for Covenants, Conditions, and Restrictions. Basically, the rules of a planned community, they're recorded with the title of your property. They are attached to your property the same way as a utility easement. The goal of the CCNRs is to protect, preserve, and enhance the property values in the community. When you buy a property with CCNRs, you automatically accept them and must abide by them. HOA stands for Homeowners Association. It is an organization that enforces the CCNRs of a community, such as condominiums or a planned unit development. The Homeowners Association oversees property and services shared by everyone within the HOA. This may include insurance, trash collection, or maintenance of common areas, such as snow plowing of the private roads. When you buy property that is part of an HOA, you automatically become a member and are therefore eligible to be part of the board of directors. An HOA collects monthly or annual fees to pay for everything managed by the HOA. Each HOA defines the services provided and therefore the associated fees. So all HOAs do have their own set of CCNRs, but you can live in a neighborhood that has its own set of CCNRs without being part of an HOA. So how does that work? Well, if you recall, the CCNRs are recorded with the title of the property. If there's no HOA, then there's no fees. However, you have agreed to abide by those rules. If an HOA is in place, yes, you have the fees. You also have the associated services and also a schedule of disciplinary actions in the event that a neighbor goes against the CCNRs. And finally, what if you live in a neighborhood with no HOA and no CCNRs? In this case, there are no fees, but your neighbor could paint their house tie-dye, which would lower the value of your home and you can't do anything about it. So the HOA itself is recorded with the state. There are monthly fees, a board of directors, disciplinary action for violations, and they can be restrictive, but they do provide many beneficial services. CCNRs with no HOA are recorded with the title of your property, have no monthly fees, are less restrictive, and preserve and enhance property value. Familiarize yourself with the CCNRs for the community you are considering, whether or not it is part of an HOA. Understand the freedoms and responsibilities provided. There are pros and cons to all of the options. Talk to your Story real estate agent to find out what the restrictions are for your investment so that you can make an informed decision.